Well, here we are two weeks later and you're back again for a microdose of whatever you come here for. I don't know what it is and I don't know what keeps bringing you back. We're going to be talking expired film and taking a chance on Kodak Veracolor 3 expired in 1997. This set of Kodak Veracolor 3 has an ISO of 160 and with 27 years of expiration, I was expecting muted tones, brown shadows, and a stern rasping from my wife about how we can't keep spending the dog's food budget on film. Film's not a good source of vitamins and minerals, I guess. Anyway, I'm sure you're ready to see the photos, but first, we need to have a word from our sponsor. The sponsor is no one. Nobody's the sponsor. I'm the sponsor now. Now back to the video. As an ultimate test of skill, luck, and dumb luck, I took this film to the Utah State Fair. Call it what you will, but shooting this film at 25 ISO allowed me to capture the fair in a, such a unique way. I took my Mamiya 7, a tripod, a shutter release cable, and the soul of Alfred Steiglitz. The goal of the evening was to capture the trails of people during the day and the trails of lights at night. We'll see just how well I did that in a little bit. It's just your luck. That little bit is now up. Let's talk about the first image. I was a little late firing the shutter on this image. The original intent was to have the human meat sacks spinning around on chains in the upper third of the frame, with the signs creating an interesting bit of set dressing. Unfortunately, I was trying to take a little bit of BTS for this video, and I missed the shot that I wanted by just a few seconds. No way was I going to wait for the minimum wage state fair employee to herd the next set of cattle, I mean, guests, onto the next ride. So I fired anyway. The composition could have been better and maybe I could have gotten the Himalaya sign a little more straight on, but since when has the first shot of the night ever been good? I guess this just goes to show that you could have the best artistic medium ever created, and if the artist can only manage to wipe lunches stain away with a backing paper of a roll of 120, you'll always end up with a crappy image. Okay, moving on from the poop jokes. Number two. I'm very surprised at how good fidelity these negatives have. The signs here have tons of detail and the sky isn't completely blown out, but it is very close. I probably could have exposed a tiny bit lower, but then we'd be losing some of the detail in the shadows, and I don't think these could have turned out any better. Well, except compositionally. I wish I could have gotten a higher vantage point, but I already know that the tripod was at its max height and there wasn't really a good way for me to grapple my camera strap around a ride and ride it up to the top in order to get a better vantage point. You just can't trust these shoddy rides, man. They're just dangerous. Shot number three was a bit rushed. I wanted to get a perspective into the ticket booth window of delivering tickets to eager victims. I mean guests, they're, they're guests. I couldn't get a good shot into the ticket booth while keeping the background interesting. The foreground is kind of meh, with a big empty spot in the middle, but I guess next time I have a shot exactly like this one, I'll know, and I'll remember to put something in the foreground. Shot number four was going to be a certified hood banger. Imagine this exact scene, but with a couple standing at the cotton candy window being lovey-dovey. Unfortunately, these people aren't being paid for being my models, so I can't really expect them to stick around. 
Just like how I don't want to stick around on this shot too long before you notice that it looks like the trash can is the subject of the image. Shot number five is of the same cotton candy stand, and I wanted to get a photo of the employee sitting inside, just biding time as no one was buying cotton candy. But I guess he noticed my gigantic camera and shutter release cable, and he fled for the hills. I can't blame him. Now here is where the shots started to get interesting. Have you ever heard of reciprocity? Film is not like digital in a lot of ways. But one glaring difference between film and digital is that film suffers from reciprocity failure. This means that the longer your exposure, the less sensitive the film becomes as the exposure goes on. In this example, using Kodak Varicolor 3, if my exposure time was upwards of 4 seconds, I would double the exposure time. But if the metered exposure time was 10 seconds or greater, I would triple the exposure time. As you can see, this becomes exponential, and if you're not careful, you just might end up sitting in a field for an entire night if you get addicted to this long exposure stuff, which I just might be. I love the spinning rides and the sharp silhouettes of the rides against the skyline. I wish I had been just a little closer, but hey, this isn't the Truman Show and not everything can be choreographed just for me. Here's another nicely framed shot that could have used a bit more movement by the swing ship ride, but when you're rushed, what can you do? I get that tripods get a lot of hate. They're bulky, cumbersome, and kind of awkward. But this shot right here would not have been possible without one. With the exposure time being around 30 seconds, I was able to capture the movement of the ride and the energy that was just electric to say the least. But also I was able to capture the utter boredom of the worker right here in the bottom of the frame. I can relate to this guy. Working at an amusement park was a pretty miserable job. You got to watch people having the time of their life while you just herded cattle into holding pens and onto meat hooks. I love this image. The colors, the mood, the dichotomy of it all. This shot made me feel like I'd just won a rigged game. With expired film, you never know if the prize is a goldfish or a bag with a dead fish in it. I think this one ended up being a rainbow fish. I'll just let it linger here so you can examine it for just a little bit. Wow, I'm glad to see all five of you didn't click off the video. Thanks for not picking up the remote. <laughs> Returning to the first composition of the night, I wanted to try my hand at capturing the lights of the fair and the chairs sitting idly alone. But I guess we can't have nice things and the chairs have a mind of their own. Again, I was shooting this film for upwards of 30 seconds per exposure. And a lot can happen in 30 seconds. And wouldn't you know, this is shot number 10, the last shot of the roll. I wish I could have taken more photos like this it's an image of my wife and her mother sitting on a bench while staring at a merry-go-round. I'll let you make your own conclusions of what this image means to you, but to me, this image is very important. And after 10 shots, just like carnival games, you walk away wondering, was it skill? Was it luck? Or did I just lose $10 on a stuffed bear that I didn't even want or even need for that matter? Either way, this Kodak Varicolor 3 gave me an experience. A hit of the good stuff, if you will. Whether I won or lost, I had fun. Hey everyone, if you've made it this far, I just wanna say a huge thank you. Your time and attention mean a lot, and I'm genuinely grateful that you've stuck around to the end. Whether you've been here from the beginning or just discovered my channel, I hope you've enjoyed the journey as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. Every video is a labor of love, and it's all the more rewarding 
knowing there are people like you who appreciate what I'm sharing. If this video resonated with you, or if you found any of the content helpful or inspiring, I'd be honored if you'd consider subscribing. It's one of the best ways to support my growing channel and ensure you don't miss out on what's coming next. I'm always working on new ideas, so if you're into film photography, there's plenty more on the way. And of course, I'd love to hear from you. Your feedback, your thoughts, or even just a quick hello in the comments. Building this community and connecting with all of you is one of the best parts of doing this. So, don't be shy. Thanks again for being here. I really hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and keep shooting film.